Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today I'm covering general anesthesia in the cat or the dog. What your veterinarian does from the time you drop your doggy off to the time you pick them up. The whole process is broken up, in my opinion, into three different steps. I try to make it as simple as possible so you know what's going on to your doggy, your kitty cat, during the day of their spay, their neuter, their major abdominal surgery, and you can kind of expect what to expect. Number one is going to be the exam, the blood work, and the pre-med. This is when the doggy first walks in the veterinary office, and maybe I've seen this puppy or this doggy a few weeks earlier, and I had recommended a neuter or a dental or whatever, but we need surgery. First thing is, I, the veterinarian, is going to do a very thorough physical exam. Once I say we're healthy, we're then going to draw some blood, and once the blood work says we're healthy, we're going to go ahead and give a pre-med. We give that pre-med as an injection, and it relaxes them, and we let them bake. I say we let them bake, and all that means is they're going to sit there for about 20 or 30 minutes, let the meds get in their system so they're really relaxed and comfortable. At that point, we're then going to put an IV catheter in their leg, and that moves us in to the actual surgery portion. Number two is what we all think about, the surgery portion, general anesthesia. We get to that point by giving an, a medication or an induction medication into the patient's IV. The doggy, the kitty, they fall asleep, and when they fall asleep, we put an endotracheal tube down their throat and this allows us to give oxygen and general anesthesia gas to keep the patient comfortable and under general anesthesia through the entire surgical process. When they're in surgery, we're gonna have a ton, guys, of really fancy and cool monitoring equipment. That includes things like blood pressure cuffs, pulse oximeters, you probably will have an ECG and temperature and a CO2 monitor, all kinds of really cool, important, life-saving monitoring equipment. We will use all that through the whole process, and when surgery is done, we turn the anesthetic gas off, and that rolls us into the final step, which is recovery. The doggy, the kitty cat, will be maintained on oxygen through that tube we put down their throat, and they will breathe it in and breathe it out as they slowly breathe off all the general anesthesia gases. Once the patient, guys, is ready to wake up, they have swallowed a handful of times, they have met the requirements to have the endotracheal tube pulled from their throat, we deflate it and we pull that tube out. Now the patient is completely breathing room air comfortably and they rest and recover in their kennel with somebody directly observing and making sure their vitals are stable. That concludes from going from the pre-med to the surgery to the recovery. Recovery, guys, my goodness, it takes a while. We make sure the patient recovers beautifully after having the tube pulled. Then, and they're still tired, we'll take them out for some walks, we'll make sure they recover beautifully, temperature is stable, we'll take their IV catheter out, and this is honestly probably the longest part of the surgery because we wanna make sure the doggy goes home, bright, alert, feeling good, or as good as possible. And that's why a veterinarian will have to drop off in the morning and pick up in the afternoon, because I may call you just an hour after you drop the pet off and say, hey, spay went great. That's because the pre-med, the blood work, the exam, all that's quick. The surgery may only take 20, 30 minutes, and the recovery takes forever sometimes but that's okay recovery that's part of the game and recovery is super super important and we never rush any pet as they recover from general anesthesia i hope this provides guys with a whole bunch of knowledge you feel more comfortable taking your doggy your kitty in for surgery and if this has been helpful and leveled up your knowledge please go ahead like and subscribe and please share this with someone who could get benefit from it as always, guys, I hope your doggies and kitties are happy and healthy, and I hope you are too. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.